Well, it's something we haven't heard before or much before, rather, or uh, ever, really. Mm -hmm. Despite slapping thousands of cars at roadblocks on New Year's Eve, Surrey Mounties say not one person was charged criminally with impaired driving. And as the CBC's Tina Lovegreen reports, the downward trend is being seen across the province. This past holiday season, police were out in full force, looking to get impaired drivers off the road. Over 3,000 vehicles were checked in the various roadblocks over the three days. But it's what Surrey RCMP officers didn't find that surprised them. We did not have any criminal code impaired investigations or charges over the holiday season. Meaning no drivers were criminally charged for driving under the influence. A possible first. We're very happy and pleasantly surprised to see that. That's not to say there were no problems on the roads. In total, nine immediate roadside prohibitions were issued. Three vehicles were impounded. Police in Nanaimo saw a similar downward trend. Eight cars were issued 90-day immediate roadside prohibitions, down from 12 the year before. One driver refused a roadside test and was issued a 90-day prohibition. That's down from three refusals. Vancouver criminal defense lawyer Kyla Lee says she's not surprised and has seen the trend firsthand. We had a huge reduction over the Christmas season in the amount of new work that we were getting for criminal impaired driving charges. Lee believes the recent changes that allow random breath testing had a huge role to play. It was a huge topic of discussion, whereas in previous years it hasn't been in every news story every day. And so studies have shown that uh, the strongest deterrent for impaired driving is a combination of public discussion about the dangers of impaired driving and consistent visible enforcement. Police suspect more people are taking cabs, transit, or opting to hire designated drivers. Sean Meehan owns one of those designated driver services and says his business has grown over 30 percent. We've been a company now for 10 years, nine years, and uh, we had a record grossing week. While it seems like drivers now understand the dangers of driving under the influence of drugs and alcohol, the battle isn't over. We still see on average 68 people die. Uh, in the province of British Columbia due to impaired um, driving. Please hope that one day that number reaches zero. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Surrey.